Oh, me and my cousin Vaughn Arthur McBride, as we went a walking down by the seaside, a marking what followed and what might be tied for it being on Christmas morning. And for recreation, we went on a tramp, and we met Sergeant Harper and Corporal Ramp, and the little wee drummer, intending to camp for the day being pleasant and charming. Good morning, good morning, the sergeant, he cried, and the same to you gentlemen, we did reply, intending no harm, as we meant to pass by for it being on Christmas morning. But says he, my fine fellows, if you will enlist, it's ten guineas and gold I will slip in your fist, and a crown in the bargain for to kick up the dust, and drink the king's health in the morning. For a soldier he leads a very fine life, and he always is blessed with a charming young wife, and he pays all his debts without sorrow and strife, and he always lives pleasant and charming. And a soldier he always is decent and clean, in the finest of clothing he's constantly seen, while other poor fellows look dirty and mean, and sup on thin gruel in the morning. But says Arthur, I wouldn't be proud of your clothes, for you've only the lend of them as I suppose, and you dare not change them one night, for you know, if you do you'll be flogged in the morning. And although we are single and free, we take great delight in our own company, and we have no desire strange faces to see, although your offers are charming. And we have no desire to take your advance, all hazards and dangers we barter on chance, for you would have no scruples for to send us to France, where we would get shot without warning. Oh no, says the sergeant, I'll hear no such chat, and I never will take it from rascal or brat, for if you insult me with one other word, I'll cut off your heads in the morning. Then Arthur and I, we soon drew our odds, and we scarce gave them time for to draw their own blades, when a trusty oak branch came over their heads, and bade them take that as fair warning. And their rusty old rapiers that hung by their sides, we flung them as far as we could in the tide. Now take them out, devil, cried Arthur McBride, and temper their edge in the morning. And the wee little drummer, we flattened his pouch, and we made a football of his rowdy dow dow and threw it in the tide for to rock and to roll, and bade it a tedious returning. And we, having no money, paid them off in cracks, and we paid no respect to their too bloody back. But we lathered them there like a pair of wet sacks, and left them for dead in the morning. And so to conclude and to finish dispute, we obligingly asked them if they wanted recruits, for we were the lads that would give them hard clouts and bid them look sharp in the morning.